safety first guys um, yeah it's it's quite wet in the Western Cape at the moment not today luckily we have a beautiful day um, yeah it's a day that I take you guys through the tournament Mahi Mahi setup um, I tried to take this setup up um, into Tiawara's Kloof the water was rough so it, it got a proper maiden voyage the fishing sucked no it's winter but yeah let's start at the front and then move all the way to the back let's go um, yeah, so here at the front guys, we have this small compartment like, uh, like I showed you in the previous video. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll drop it down below. And if you're a yak lover, a yak fishing lover, please consider subscribing. I bring out awesome content um, about fishing and, and basically the outdoors. Um, so yeah, please press that red button, it's totally free. Let's move back to the kayak again. So we have this front compartment. Obviously I have my battery in here. There's not a battery at the moment, it's charging. Um, and then my wires just neatly cabled, nothing special, same thing. Um, yeah, let's go all the way to here. Yeah, I have my homemade mount, it's much cheaper than a GoPro or Fish Finder mount um, that moves freely on the track rail so I can move it up down this track. Um, and it is actually a really nice touch, I'm, I'm glad I did it myself. I'll show you guys a quick close up on how it looks, it's very easy to, um, to make, it costs about 50 rand so us that would be like four and a half dollars or four dollars or something three and a half dollars i don't know how strong the currencies are at the moment um yeah so the lurans hoop 2 unit runs on a 7 amp battery the entire day um, and then i have big lights as well that also runs off the seven and a half amp battery and then obviously in the middle of the kayak which makes this kayak very special is the um, propeller drive so I can go forward and back with it um, yeah I think that's it for in the front and the middle let's move to the seat and backwards alrighty guys as you can see the seat is lifted um, yeah it was really an easy job like building Legos honestly alrighty so all that you guys need is four of these three-way 38 millimeter uh, connectors and then for I think it's a one-way um, I'll get a close-up of all of them 38 mil connector and then you guys need I think 2.2 meters of you guessed it 38 mil aluminium tubing and it's as simple as that alrighty so um, before we get into cutting we need two 47 centimeter pieces um, four six and a half centimeter pieces and then 41 two 41 centimeter pieces so the 247s is for if I'm sitting right on the chair now the front beam and the back beam the 242s is for the sides and then the short ones is obviously that goes straight up vertically so um, let's get on slow motion grinding footage of me a grinder uh, and those pantoffles so let's get into it um, you just buy yourself some aluminium tubing I'll actually put the diameters in the description below I think all the Van Lang Sky X has exactly the same seat size so it'll work for everyone um, so I have aluminium tubing and then just fitted connection fittings um, a lot of fit and be fit while you do it as well it will help you out a lot um, I'm just kidding and then yeah be sure to tighten it properly um, on the slide tracks I didn't do it and I got irritated on the water because my seat just slided and then after that day I just tightened it properly and I haven't had that problem um, the seat comes with these mounts I can say that keeps the seat to the tracks um, and I just bolted those on top of the aluminium frame the reason why I didn't bolt those at the back is first of all the my only comes with one set but even if I had two pairs um, of those uh, set fittings I would still use two because now I can lift up my seat and use this for storage um, in the future I'll be moving my battery to here just to save some space and then just balance out some weight because at the moment it's quite heavy there at the back yeah let's move to what actually gets this kayak 
moving at an incredibly quick pace. So yeah, at the brain of the operation, the PWM system, um, yeah, this enabled me to control the trailing motor from where I'm sitting. Also another advantage of the PWM controller is actually it lets your battery last a lot longer. I'm not gonna go into the specifics of it. If you uh, don't agree with me, please comment below that I can just remove you from the channel. I'm just joking. <laughs> that would be a horrible YouTube move. But um, yeah, this really saves your battery quite a lot. So you can have, I don't know, double or at least 20% extra um, battery time on the water. Um, obviously this is just intercepts the cabling from the trailing motor to the battery. We can look into that right now. It's a very system, uh, easy system. I'll actually leave the guy's contact details down below in the description if you want to buy from him. That's obviously for the South African Oaks, the American Oaks. You guys have a lot of these systems up there, so don't contact me for those. Um, yeah, let's move to the back. Alrighty guys, so um, my battery is in this uh, ammo crate of mine. I'm going to move it to the front shortly like I just mentioned. Um, reason There is a nice slot for battery here at the back, but then it's very back heavy and you don't want it. You want the car to be balanced. It's a lithium, 100 amp hour. Um, so I can be on the water entire day. I was on the water from eight, no, from half past seven in the morning till half past five at the evening and I was on 60%, 65% battery life. So um, yeah, these lithium batteries are really a game changer. Obviously on the ammo crate, I just have some PVC poles bolted to them with slots in that your rods will stay at the same position every time. It doesn't move around or scratch your rods or anything like that. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, a bit of the cabling here. I actually stole my girlfriend's old washing machine's pipes to run the cabling. <laughs> um, it worked perfectly, like you can see here. We will move to the back here. But it runs perfectly over the cabling and just yeah, protects the cabling quite a lot from the moving crate and all of those stuff. Let's move to the trailing motor. That's the reason why you guys probably clicked uh, on this video. And then, yeah, let's just wrap it up then. Before we go to the trailing motor, you guys are probably wondering, like, why is there a rod holder here? Um, two reasons. One, it's to hold my net. So the moment I have a fish on, a big one, because it's me. Just kidding. <laughs> um, I can just you now reach back and grab the net and hit the thing. And the moment the net is out of the rod holder and in front, busy with the fish, I can actually put my rod in here. Um, that I was busy with. So uh, yeah, I love the positioning of the rod all the year. When I'm saltwater fishing, I'll probably put it in the front. Um, but yeah, let's move to the trailing motor um, because that's the main reason why I clicked on the video. Okay, so as you guys know, um, Van Langs has this awesome motor mount at the back that you can just screw on. Um, so I actually spent a lot of time, unnecessary time, on working out how to steer the treading motor where it is a big truck. Um, where was I? So I spent a lot of time actually perfecting the steering of this treading motor and it was all for nothing. Um, the moment you guys have the foot control steering on the rod, uh, on the treading motor, it really restricts the rudder from moving when you're using the handle. So two solutions, otherwise you can, you can fix um, or put your trolling motor in a fixed position that you just move straight and back and then move the direction with your rudder, which is a good system. I know Greg uses it and, and plenty of other guys. Or you can actually just drill two holes through the um, deck itself of the kayak and maybe put some uh, tubing in there to protect the wiring from, from breaking and then connect that straight to the the side arms of the trailing motor. It isn't nice to have, um, to be able to move the trailing motor itself. You can literally do a 360 on one spot um, when you're moving the trailing motor with the feet. Um, so yeah, it is a big advantage to to have a trailing motor at the back for turning as well, but for speed, guys, I can move with this thing on the back. I promise you guys, we can, we can put this thing on plane and have two guys um, tandeming at the back of this. It's really, it's really a nice, um, modification to the kayak also guys i would really encourage you to get a stakeout pull um, it made fishing a lot easier i know a lot of the south african guys doesn't have a stakeout pull yet or don't have a stakeout pull yet with the american guys all of you guys have it and then yo one last thing before we cut down this video or end of this video um, 
Yo, having a trolling motor on your kayak really increases your fishing time at the end of the day. Again, you can go to your spot quicker, you can actually stand up and just put your PWM system slightly on and you can just cruise down a bank and really work it, the bank down and just change the rudder with the butt of your rod while standing. So um, guys, you're definitely worth all the hours I put into this kayak. I'm very happy with it. And yeah, I'm just so tired of the winter at the moment. I'm very excited for the fishing season to start again, the competitive season. And um, yeah, as always, one more course. And um, yeah, have a good one. Cheers.